Okay, first of all, this working arrange page, as we've said, you build your arrangement in this whole area, and we've hidden all the other confusing, cluttering things that get in the way. So as I've said already, you record data on a track, whether it's audio or MIDI, and then you highlight a piece of that data, and then you open the editor down below that you need to edit that data, whether it's audio data and you use the sample editor, or whether it's MIDI data and you're using the hyper editor or the piano roll. And you can open your mixer anytime if you want to tweak the mix. So everything lives on this grid, and that grid pertains directly to this display here saying 4-4, four, four, which is the time signature, okay, and the division, which is 16. All right, And the display of the vertical lines is zoom dependent. So at this amount of zoom out, I just see bar lines working down like that. That's bar 5. That's bar 6, bar 7, etc. If I zoom in a bit, and I'm not going to use any fancy key commands at the moment, if I zoom in a bit, eventually I zoom in enough to start seeing the quarter note markers dividing the bar into four quarter notes. And it's four because we're in 4-4 four, four time signature, you see? So there are four beats to a whole bar. Now if I zoom in a bit further, I will start to see my... Whoa! I'll start to see my division lines. There they are. Okay, so now I've zoomed in a bit more, I see my four beats. There's my whole bar across there. That's the first beat, second beat, third beat, fourth beat, divided by these thicker lines. And you can now see the quarter notes divided into four by these finer lines. Four, 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 and four make 16, because the division is set to 16. So that's how the grid works, all right? And um, the snap and the drag menus work in conjunction with the setting of the grid. All right, so let's just have a look at this snap menu. All right, by default, it is set to smart. And I'm saying for beginners, don't use smart initially. Familiarize yourself with bar, beat, and division, and stick to using those, especially if you're doing dance music or commercial pop music, which always is in blocks of bars, right? You know, it's not got weird bits in terms of, you know, carrying over sections of the song by, you know, just one extra beat or something. You know, it tends to work in blocks of, you know, four, eight, and 16 bars. So I say sort of don't initially use smart. Let's look at what the snap does. The snap for beginners basically is how, when you're dragging things around, they snap to the grid. All right. So at the moment I've got it set in bar, and therefore when I drag this region around, it moves by a whole bar. I'll zoom out a bit. Okay, so look, I'm moving it by a bar, by a bar, by a bar, in any direction. Okay, now when I say by a bar, what I mean by that is this. If I just set this to divisions and move it back from that number four bar there, right? put it back into bar, Okay, now it's snapping to the bar again. So when I move it, it moves by a whole bar. You see? So now it's behind bar 5. If I move it, it moves by a bar, so it's behind bar 6. And now it moves by a whole bar, so it's slightly behind bar 7. See what I mean? It always moves by a bar. Okay, that's what I mean by that. If you want to move it to a position, tick this, snap to absolute value, so that that is now highlighted, look, see, snap to absolute value, is now ticked, and then what will happen is you will be snapping it to the bar rather than by a bar, so now I can snap it to that bar, all right? But generally have this snap to absolute value off. I'll, I'll show you another use that has in a minute. Okay, so that's the snap. The snap is to do with how when you're moving things around they stick and, and snap to the grid. So that's bar, whole bar, it moves by a bar, by a bar, by a bar. If I use beat, it will move by whatever the beat is, and in this case it's 4-4, four, four, and there are four beat divisions to each bar, so it now moves by these quarter notes in any direction. All right. And it's the same with you're dragging the length of that region in or out as well. I'm dragging it out now in length, or shorter in length, and it's doing it by a bar each, uh, by a beat each time, by a quarter beat, right? And the same if I'm dragging the front out, it moves by a beat, by a beat, 
it snaps to the beat. Yeah? Yeah. Or if I'm making it small, I'm moving it by a beat every time because the snap is set to beat. If you want to drag the front or back of a region in or out in length, you just put the mouse over that lower edge, in other words, the colour bit rather than the black bit, and this angle bracket appears at either end. Yeah? Then you just hold down with the left mouse and drag in or out. All right. If I go to divisions, I'm now working to snap of 16, because that's the division set down there. So I'll zoom in a bit so you can see those division markers. There they are, 16th. And now I'm dragging and moving it by 16th in any direction, you see? And the same if I'm extending it in length. I can, it snaps to 16th in or out in length at either end. Whether I'm sizing this region or moving it, it's now snapping to sixteenths. So that's your basic, uh, your snaps, your basic kind of snap resolutions. Bar, which is whole bar, beat, which is the beats as defined by the time signature here, which is four four, so there'll be four beats of the bar, and divisions, which is set here at sixteenths. I can increase my division, for example, to, oops, twenty fourths or 30 seconds and now with it set to division for the snap it will snap to those 30 seconds look okay so I'm saying for beginners initially always work with bar beat and division and leave the others alone all right ah well I just realized something um, I reviewed this video after making it and then realized that I've been banging on about you know beginners and you know should use bar beat and division and um, not use smart. Uh, I personally, I've been using Logic for years and I don't use smart myself, but I forgot to tell you what smart is. <laughs> okay, so I'll just add that on now. Um, yeah, smart is as the name suggests, it tries to be smart, it tries to be clever. It basically means that when you're moving around things and, and resizing them bigger or smaller, it snaps to bar, beat, division, as well as all the smaller uh, resolutions, ticks and samples especially. Um, so in other words, it snaps to everything, and um, there's your problem. And I'll show you. Look, if I put it into Smart, all right. Look, yes, I can drag it and snap it to a quarter note like that, or like that, or I can snap it to a bar. All right. Same if I'm resizing it, I can resize it by a quarter note, or whatever. And of course, I can move it around or resize it by divisions, even, even quite small ones, we're in 30 seconds now, and it does snap to those divisions, but notice in the middle of the divisions it's it's trying to snap to some smaller resolution, and the more you zoom in the more that happens, yeah, because then it starts to uh, give you even more of the finer resolution, which is ticks and samples. The main thing about Smart is that it tries to snap to everything, but it's not very sticky. All right, that's the problem. You put it into beat, and it just goes snap, quarter beat, snap, quarter beat, snap, quarter beat. No problems, right? Even divisions, if you choose it as a snap, even at something small like these 30 seconds, it still snaps nice and sticky, right? But smart doesn't. It's less sticky, and you've therefore got to be all that more careful with the mouse, and I find it very time-consuming. So even though I've been using Logic for years, I don't use smart. But by all means, you're welcome to try it, and you're welcome to use it as you get more experience. But I'm just saying for the beginner, definitely don't use it. Learn your bar, beat, and division. All right. And the other reason uh, that I don't advise using Smart is that it, because it does also snap to ticks and samples, you can get into problems. And um, I'm going to show you those problems next, because now we're going to look at ticks and samples. These are the smallest resolutions of snap that that Logic does, right? Uh, we won't bother with frames and quarter frames because they're for video. But let's now look at ticks and samples, how they work, and I'll show you that problem you can get into.